at Fort Norris, New Jersey, they're taking soundings in the swamps and peat bogs with the object of rediscovering the forest of white cedars that flourished but was submerged centuries ago. It has been found that the ooze enveloping these trees has kept the wood, bark and even spicy odour perfectly preserved throughout the ages. The rings show that this piece of timber is 500 years old. Already there's a big demand for this ancient member of the fir tribe. It's used in house building. Roofs of today dug up from the forests of yesterday. As with wood, so with metal. Lead, of which new veins have been found on the slopes of Italy's Mount Valerio. Workings have gone up almost overnight, and miners have gone down with the same speed and enthusiasm. Already 1,200 men are employed, and the fines have been rich. Lead seams are easily detected because of their lustrous bluish-white colouring. With modern machinery at their command, the miners can handle as much as 350 tonnes of ore a day, and the many refining processes are all done in the mine area. From the rough sorting to the washing and roasting, that is, the burning away of the sulphur and the ore, and lastly to the smelting in the blast furnace. These are some of the stages that eventually result in the production of ingots containing nearly 100% of pure lead. And now from lead to gold, the golden chimes of the quaint old village of Fünfkirchen in southern Hungary. At noon, the marketplace is filled with sweet music, music that actually goes round and around. 